Denver will soon see a new type of business start popping up next year, offering psilocybin. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration says psilocybin comes from certain mushrooms taken by mouth for a hallucinating effect. But before this can become a reality, the city is asking for advice from experts. Nine News reporter Lauren Scafidi joins us now. This has really been a big conversation in Colorado over the last couple years, Lauren. It has. The conversation around mushrooms started with local and state ballot initiatives in 2019 and 2022. Then in 2023, the Colorado legislator, legislature passed a bill allowing local jurisdictions to adopt local licenses for natural medicine healing centers, cultivation facilities, manufacturing facilities, and testing facilities. Now, Denver is calling on you to help. It's time for action. We're uh, ready to start moving. In 2014, Denver led the charge in the country, legalizing recreational marijuana. Ten years later, they hope to do the same. We're excited that Denver can lead the way. This time with natural medicine, like psilocybin. Obviously, there's a lot of interest in this, um, and we have a lot to figure out. To help figure things out, Molly Duplachain with Denver's Department of Excise and Licenses says you can help. We are establishing a Denver natural medicine work group to explore whether there should be local licensing and regulations for natural medicine, which is really psilocybin, which the Denver voters approved in 2022. This natural medicine work group will help make recommendations about city regulations. I mean, anybody's welcome to apply. We want to hear from a diversity of perspectives, people with experience in the space, um, or people that just might have an interest in how it's going to work in their community. Denver did something similar in 2019 after voters approved decriminalizing psilocybin and required the city to come up with a report about natural medicine. Kevin Matthews was a part of it. I set out with a vision uh, in 2019. He says he hopes to be a part of this work group because he's proud of Denver. They've taken a really strong leadership role and this is just another step towards ensuring or doing the best we can to ensure that for folks who are suffering they can receive this kind of treatment and Heal. Matthews was once the one suffering. Psilocybin, from my own personal experience, speaking personally, really shined a light on some of the like underlying root traumas that I faced. Duplichane says now they're ready to get to work. We're really ready to start learning and we have that time frame in mind, knowing that a year from now we could be seeing these businesses operating in Denver. Unlike recreational marijuana, where you can actually leave the dispensary with cannabis, this natural medicine will be taken on site. Your application to join the natural medicine work group is due Wednesday. If Denver ultimately decides to create a license system, city council will need to approve that. And that could happen by the end of the year with businesses up and running by 2025. According to state law, cities can't opt out of, out of this like they would with marijuana. Okay. And pretty high interest so far and in being part of these work groups, right? Yeah, the city didn't really know what to expect, but so far they've had more than 100 people apply and they're definitely still looking for more before Wednesday. Okay, and we'll have information if you need it on our website. Lauren, thank you.